It could be that the biggest changes for the new editions of the CCNA cert guides that come out in 2024 happen outside the covers of the books. We made huge changes to the exams that you get the rights to when you buy the books. In this video, I'm going to go over the fundamentals of all the different types of exams that you get with the books. And in particular, at the end of the video, I'll tell you about the new exams that you'll find there and how to best make use of those. All right, let's get into the details. To appreciate the practice test, you need to understand the books for just a moment. First off, there's a Volume 1 book. It covers about half the content in CCNA. There's a Volume 2 book, and they are separate books. So if you want to learn about all of CCNA, you need both books. The publisher, knowing that, says, hey, we want to sell you both books at once. And to make that more convenient, they put them in a cardboard box, and they give it a product name, and it's called the CCNA Official Cert Guide Library, as you see on the far right. And that library product is less expensive than if you buy the books separately. So, of course, most people buy the library because it's cheaper, right? Now, these books that come out in 2024 that have the covers you see here, those are considered second edition. Notice the green swoosh on the bottom left. They're second edition. The books that previously sold from about the year 2020 to 2024, those were first edition. All right? So, with that backdrop, when you get those books, there's a practice test product associated with each volume but not with the library, no matter how you buy them, all right? So each volume has a practice test product kind of represented on the outer edges of this graphic. And then there's a practice test app. The app doesn't have any questions or exams associated with it. You have to activate the product you buy in the app. So that's these arrow lines showing you activating the product. So you buy the library and you take the volume one book and you read about how to activate the volume one practice tests in the app. And once you do that, you'll see exams show up in your user interface in the app. And that's what I'll talk about in this video is what are those exams and how to best use those. Volume 2, same kind of idea. You activate that product in the app and you'll see a series of exams show up inside the app that are from the Volume 2 product. All right. So once those are activated as a user, you're going to have a flow that works like the steps 1, 2, and 3 in this next graphic. The first thing you do when you bring up the app is you have to pick a product. Now, because we've got a two book set for CCNA, you've got to pick volume one or volume two. So you've got to be aware of what you're trying to do and what exams you're looking for right off the bat. So let's just say you picked volume one. Then at your next step, step two, you're going to look at a list of exams. So you need awareness of what's in what exam and what are you trying to do to review right now. So I'm going to talk you through that in the next few minutes. So you might pick an exam, and maybe you pick multiple exams. You're allowed to pick one or more exams. Say you pick the second of the exams in a list. Now you can start a practice session then and see all the exam or all the questions in that exam. Or at step three, you could choose a subset of the questions. Say you just wanted to do some practice questions related to chapters four, five, and six. You could check only chapters four, five, and six in a list of objectives and answer questions about those. So that's the general feel and flow. But to make these choices, you need to know about those exams. So let's do that next. First off, there's a book exam that comes with each volume's PTP product. All right, so there are the covers of the two books. And if you were to open any chapter, you'd see a chapter pre-quiz that we call the Do I Know This Already quiz. It's basically there so you can answer some questions and get a sense of how much do you already know about the topics in the chapter? So what the publisher does is that once we're finished as authors, they go and do a copy and paste process and copy out all those do I know this already quiz questions into the electronic exam, and they call that a book exam rather than do I know this already exam. So there's one for the Volume 1 book and the Volume 1 PTP product, and there's one for Volume 2 and the Volume 2 PTP product. So you want to review questions from Volume 1's Do I Know This Already quizzes, you go to the Volume 1 product and likewise for Volume 2. So to do that from the user interface, this is what it looks like in the web app. So if you look, say, toward the top, there is a blue bar and it does say Volume 2. By the way, this screenshot's from the previous edition. The new edition's um, screens aren't available yet when I recorded this video. But in the list of exams in the kind of middle left of the graphic, 
I've just checked book questions. And then on the bottom, in this case, I picked three chapters. Say you're thinking, hey, I'll, I, let me repeat the do I know this already quiz questions from say the first three chapters in volume two during a study session. That's how you would go about doing it. This next exam may be the most important ones in the product, so the books. There's 53 chapters combined across the two books in these new editions for 2024. So to make that more easily navigated, we organize those into parts with three, four, or five chapters each. So you see the 13 parts spread across the two books there. And then within each part, you've got multiple chapters. So if you drill down on the new volume one, for instance, the first five parts have those chapters by numbers that you see in the graphic. So it makes sense for you to break up your study. In fact, we have a study plan described at the first part of volume one, just before chapter one, it's called your study plan. And the idea is to help you learn how to go about studying what's a fairly big project for you to learn. CCNA is pretty deep and broad. There's a lot to learn. So as part of that, that study plan says that as you go through chapters, you should review at the end of each chapter, but then you should review at the end of each part. And we have a, you guessed it, part review element that's a few pages long at the end of each part so it's not long in number of pages, but there's a lot of activity. In fact, I would say that if you do part review right, you spend more time in one part review than you do in, say, reviewing and reading a chapter, all right? So there it is in this graphic showing, hey, you, you read a part, you read the chapters in a part, and then you've got this part review. Well, one of the activities in part review, it says, go and answer the part review questions. So in the practice test product, yes, there's a part review exam. There's those are questions that are set aside specifically for you to use during part review so that you don't use them at other times. So crank up the PTP app, choose the correct volume product, choose the correct part that you want to review and answer those questions. So as a brief review, you've got a volume one PTP product and a volume two PTP product and you need to activate both in the PTP app. You've got a book exam in each of those. You've got a part review exam in each of those. And now I'm telling you about two additional exams that have a name that begins with CCNA Volume 1 or CCNA Volume 2. So look on the left. There are two exams, CCNA Volume 1, Exam 1, CCNA Volume 1, Exam 2. So it's just two separate exams for the same purpose. What's the purpose? It's free play. You can use these anytime you want and there are about 100 questions each in this new edition. So it's about 200 questions on content in volume one for you to use whenever you want during the study process. Over in the volume two book on the right, you guessed it, two more exams about volume two content, about 100 questions in each exam. And you can, of course, use them at any point in the study process. So they're there for you, but I'm gonna tell you about a few more exams and it turns out my recommendation is that you ignore these volume one and volume two exams because you might prefer to use these other ones. So let's talk about those. You'll see one other exam show up in your user interface that goes by the name of CCNA full exam. So key on that word full. All right, so as a reminder, we've got these use anytime exams that have the terms CCNA volume whatever, CCNA volume one and CCNA volume two. There are about 100 questions each and there they are on the screen right now. However, each of those has questions from only one volume or the other from about half of the CCNA content. And to get to those two on the left, you've got to have opened up the volume one product and you can't get to questions in volume two doing that. So, so far we've not given you a way to have one practice experience with questions from the full breadth of CCA topics from both volumes. So in order to do that, the publisher makes these other exams, these CCNA full exams from the full breadth of topics in CCNA. So behind the scenes, here's what they do. They take the same questions in those four exams on the screen and they mix them up and they put them into these exams we call CCNA full exams. And it's literally what you see there. We take all the questions in volume one, exam one and volume two, exam one mix them up and create two exams for this new edition, CCNA Full Exam 1 and CCNA Full Exam 2. And you guessed it, the other two, 
get mixed up into two more CCNA full exams. So what you get there in the middle are four CCNA full exams with about 100 questions each approximately. And they're also available to you. But where are they? Right now they're kind of hanging out in the middle. Well, product-wise, remember you activate the Volume 1 product and you activate the Volume 2 product, but there's no CCNA library product that chips along with the print edition. Well, the publisher puts these CCNA full exams into the Volume 2 product. So when you want to use those CCNA full exams, you start with opening up the app and choosing the Volume 2 product. So we've modernized the question database improved the questions and we've added a bunch more questions to the exam databases and we've doubled the number of those CCNA full exams with these new products and I'm going to talk more about those topics in the next video but one thing I want to leave you with because I've focused on the exams and what they're there for is the following if you've got both of the new editions you're going to have those exams on the left the volume one exam one and two and you're going to have the exams in the center and the right in the Volume 2 product, both the Volume 2 exams 1 and 2, and those four CCNA full exams. And remember, those questions overlap with each other. So if you're like, hey, I'd like to prefer to not see a question multiple times when I'm practicing, and there's tons of questions available, so you don't have to see them again. So here's the deal. If you like the idea of timed CCNA exams, like is shown in the title of this slide, you want to have a timed practice event in the later stages of your study, then basically ignore those CCNA Volume 1 and CCNA Volume 2 exams and just don't use them and only open up the CCNA full exams. You won't repeat questions. Save those till the end and you can have four full timed practice experiences before you will run into the issue of, hey, I want to practice again, but I, I will be seeing the same questions again if I reuse an exam database. You, you can reuse the exams all you want, but if you'd like to avoid seeing the same questions again, save those till the end and have yourself four timed practice exams. Now, I'll talk more about that in the next video and further about the big changes we made this time. But hopefully this survey of the basics has helped you out. Thanks everybody for sticking around to the end. If you haven't already, please subscribe, click the bell, and as always, comment, let me know what your thoughts are. Share the videos with others and like them if you do. Hey, thanks for hanging out. Talk to you soon.